So what I'm going to show you guys is how to take your textured object from Substance Designer and put it into Maya and use Arnold to render it out. So let's get started. Once you've gone in and textured your object and put all your little details onto that object, you're ready to export those textures. So the way you do that is come up to File and come down to the bottom of the menu and go Export textures and here you get a export document uh, box and there's two tabs at the top one is export and one is configuration now configuration is a little drop down menu right here that gives you different configurations to export to different programs or renders or game engines also so typically um, if you wanted to go to any of the game engines, you would have Unreal and Un Unity. Uh, there is even V-Ray, which is a pretty good renderer. Um, let's see, there's even a standard PBR Metal Rough and Specular Gloss, if you wanted to use that. Um, the one we're looking for is the one that's specific to Arnold. And right here, there's two of them. Uh, the one on top is the one we're going to be using, which is the standard. And the other one is basically UV tiling set up for that. But we're not gonna be going into that uh, in this tutorial. So we're gonna use Arnold. So click on it and you can see we only have one texture set for our object. And you can see that texture set will create, if we drop this little drop um, arrow, you can see these are all the different textures that it will generate. It will generate a diffuse, specular, rough, uh, a Fresnel effect uh, map, uh, normal map, height map, and emissive map. Now the height map and the emissive map for this particular object will not have anything and sometimes it doesn't generate if it doesn't have anything. So those will probably just delete um, once they get created because there's no information in here but I usually don't go in there and start deleting maps out and all that. Um, I usually keep them just in case I need them this particular form, this Arnold uh, export format to stay intact if I ever need it for other objects that have those elements in them. So I usually keep them and then delete the maps I don't want after they get exported. So it's not that big of a deal. Um, over here you see the document size. So again, uh, I made this uh, object at 4K. You can drop this down to 2K, 1K, even lower than that. You can even go up to 8K if you wanted to try that. Uh, for this, um, I think um, we'll just do 4K, but typically, if you, you know, depending on how, how much detail you need for your object, you can drop that. So I'm going to just go 4K for this time around. Now, this would typically work um, for our export of maps out of substance, but I found that the diffuse you is causing a little bit of problems there's some uh, black uh, spots showing up and I think that's part of the metal um, not displaying correctly inside of Arnold and I found that if you make a base color instead of a diffuse uh, you usually get a little bit better results so I have to add another map to this so one that's gonna be base color and and not use the diffuse for Arnold to input the textures into Maya. So how do you configure a already predefined preset? So what you do is you go up to configuration up here at the top, that top tab. And in here you can see it's all the same uh, parameters that we had in that drop down menu in the tab before. And we'll just go to Arnold. And you can see this is where these all these maps are created and you can go in there and make your own or subtract or anything like that you can see up here you can make a grayscale um, map RGB or separate red green and blue maps or red green and blue one map and an alpha or separate each channel into its own map so you got a lot of flexibility what you can do with these maps and the ones that we have currently you can see those are associated like diffuse is associated if you come down to converted maps you can see diffuse this map right here is connected to this one right here by the colors that little 
white uh, bluish green color right here and then this violet color uh, that's the reflection that's a uh, that's the specular that's right here in the reflection right here so that's reflection map is getting put into specular and then roughness right here the blue it's being put in here and it's again this is a gray scale so the rg and then the rg and b with uh, r g and b are basically you know a color map that gets generated so that's the same thing with normal map height map and and the emissive map so how do you make a new map to add in here and i want to put in the base color so what you go up to the top is you go to create and you say okay base color i want that to be red green and blue um texture so i click on that and it drops it down on the bottom perfect now i got to tell it to what name it's going to be well right here you can see there are little tokens and right here to specify how to name these objects so what happens is this dollar sign specifies that the mesh name so whatever the the name of this mesh or geometry put right here underscore and then if there's different texture sets sitting in your texture set list it will put that name down here so this would be you know jerry can body um and then texture set would be uh jerry can shader and then underscore emissive map so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this and copy it and then paste it down into the new map that we're going to generate so it gets the same naming conventions as everybody else but here i'm just going to type in base color just like that so now i've got it renamed like everybody else and then i come over and i try to find my base color map output so right here here's base color so all i got to do is select the base color hold it drag it down into that little box that says red green and blue and a base color and you can see anywhere you can't you get the little do not put here sign and then right here you put a little plus sign and boom and then it says okay which channel do you want to use out of the base color well i want all the channels so red green and blue but you can do red green you can separate each channel if you want but the top one should work for here boom you can see it and it has a little color code icon to tell you what's happening once you've done that you're ready to export this out now you could make another arnold export where you can delete maps so you could come over here and hit the x and get rid of the diffuse if you don't want to output that and if you don't get if you don't get the result that you want from it you can always streamline your export if you want all right so typically i like to keep all of them just in case I never need them again. But if I ever do want it, I just go up to the top, create a new channel, select it, copy it, put that in there, name it, whatever channel. So this would be diffuse. And then I grab the diffuse right over here, grab that in, drop it in, and there it is. See, I just got it back again. But I'll clean that up. So again, just repeating the process so you understand how that works. All right, now we're ready to the next stop where we export it. So we go back to the export tab at the top, and then you can double check uh, the list. Now we updated the list here in the configuration. Substance Painter doesn't update this. We're on the fly. You kind of have to like go to another predefined configuration and then go back to the one that you configured so it can refresh this list. So go back up to the config, just pick another one, doesn't matter, and then drop it down and then go back to the Arnold, Arnold or the one you configured. And then now you can see that base color has now been updated and the diffuse has been uh, taken away. All right, once you've done that, you need to go up to the top, make sure you, it's gonna go in the directory that you want. So click on that box and we're gonna go and I'm just going to put this into my directory. Uh, source images. And then in here, I'm just going to make a new folder. 
in here and I'll just put uh, SP export and I'll select that folder and then double check it make sure that's where it's going in your my project directory um, I'm gonna save it as a ping because all you can go to higher like tiffs and targas and all that but I found that ping is pretty decent for what we need to do and if you want the best quality out of your ping instead of using 8 bits which is pretty much the standard go to 16 and you get a little bit higher quality out of that alright now you're ready to export it out so hit the export it's gonna sit there generate all the maps now that it's done generating all the maps it says oh do you want to open up that folder yes I do double check it and here they are so we've got the base color we've got the Fresnel effect map the FO or F0 I should say um, the height which doesn't have too much in there um, the normal map the roughness map and the specular map all ready to go so now we're ready to bring these maps into Maya and render with Arnold